the predators are once again about to become the prey. Though he may have come from a rather obscure comic book, Turok became a superstar on the N64 with three hit games. Now he's moving to even bigger game with Turok Evolution. Join the hunt as we set our sights on the past and future of Turok. Let's start from the beginning. How did they take a comic with such an unusual concept, an Indian who hunts dinosaurs for a living, and turn it into a smash video game franchise? We went to series creator David Dinspear to learn about Turok's origin. The decision to make a game based on Turok had actually already been made prior to my being hired. But what they didn't know was what kind of game that would be. It was my job as the uh, lead designer on that project to decide how to translate Turok into a video game. The decision to go the first-person route may seem obvious now, but it was just becoming fashionable when the first game was released back in 97. Still, Dent Spear and his team set out to push the envelope, taking Turok far beyond the current hits of the day. The first-person shooter genre was really heating up on the PC. Everybody had been into Doom 2 and Quake hadn't come out yet. And uh, what I decided I wanted to do was turn these lush jungle environments from the comic book, you know, full of, you know, animals and velociraptors and creatures of all kinds into a real living environment in three dimensions for the Nintendo uh, 64. So uh, while everybody else was making, you know, little sprite-based shooters running around in spooky castles, we were making jungles and rivers and ponds and streams and three-dimensional dinosaurs four stories tall. While these graphics from Turok 3 look rough by today's standards, they did pave the way for this. Here's some special early footage from Turok Evolution, which is coming to all three consoles in the very near future. It looks like the dinosaur hunter will once again have his hands full. Let's just hope Turok can handle it. And you can be sure Cybernet will be here with a full review once it's released. <laughs>